All right, so in this problem, I have 81 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 18. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to rewrite this equation. So 81 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 18. And now, I'm going to take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So I get 81 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x is equal to x to the power of 18 to the power of 1 over x. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 81 to the power of x times 1 over x is equal to 81 to the power of 1, which is the same thing as 81. So I get 81 is equal to x to the power of 18 to the power of 1 over x. And x to the power of 18 to the power of 1 over x is the same thing as x to the power of 18 times 1 over x, which is the same thing as x to the power of 18 over x. Now, I'm going to take the power of 1 over 18 on both sides. So I get 81 to the power of 1 over 18 is equal to x to the power of 18 over x to the power of 1 over 18. And this is the same thing as 81 to the power of 1 over 18 is equal to x to the power of 18 over x times 8 times 1 over 18, and these two 18s cancel out, so I get 81 to the power of 1 over 18 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now, 81 here is the same thing as 9 squared. So I'm going to rewrite this as 9 squared to the power of 1 over 18 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And now this is the same thing as 9 to the power of 2 times 1 over 18 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And 2 times 1 over 18 is the same thing as 1 over 9. So I get 9 to the power of 1 over 9 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now, notice how this is in the form a number to the power of 1 over that same number is equal to x to the power of 1 over x, meaning x is equal to this number 9. So now, going back to the original equation, let's go ahead and check if this is right. So I have 81 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 18. So x is equal to 9. So if I plug in 9 for x, I get 81 to the power of 9 is equal to 9 to the power of 18. Now, 81 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 4, and 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. So I get 3, 3 to the power of 4 to the power of 9 is equal to 3 squared to the power of 18. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, that's equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 4 to the power of 9 is equal to 3 to the power of 4 times 9, which is 3 to the power of 36. And this is equal to 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 18, which is equal to 3 to the power of 36 as well. So this is right. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 7. So I actually have two methods to solve this problem. So make sure to stick around for the video to see me solve both methods. So for my first method, method 1, I'm going to write my problem right here. 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 7. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 5 to the power of x plus 7, I can write that as 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of 7.
And now from here, I'm going to divide both sides by 5 to the power of x. So then these two cancel out, and I get 2 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of 7. Now from here, an important property of the exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 2 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x is equal to 2 over 5. And another property is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 2 over 5 to the power of x. And this is equal to 5 to the power of 7. Now from here, <clears throat> I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log 2 over 5 to the power of x is equal to log 5 to the power of 7. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so I get b times log a. In this case, I have log 2 over 5 to the power of x, so I can move x to the front. And I have log 5 to the power of 7, so I can move 7 to the front. So I get x times log 2 over 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. Now from here, we obviously want to find the value of x, so to do that, we have to get rid of log 2 over 5 by dividing both sides by log 2 over 5. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 7 times log 5 over log 2 over 5. And we have our answer here. This is our solution, but there is a way to simplify it more. So first off, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log 2 over 5, that's going to equal log 2 minus log 5. And now from here, I get 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus log 7 times log 5 over log 5. And these two cancel out, so I get 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus 7. And this is the same thing as 7 of log base 2 of 5 minus 7. Now for method 2. What I can do is my equation was 2 to the power of x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 7. And now I'm going to just start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 5 to the power of x plus 7. And now using that property, I get x times log 2 is equal to x plus 7 times log 5. And now if I distribute the log 5, I get x times log 2 is equal to x times log 5 plus 7 times log 5. Now if I subtract x times log 5 on both sides, these two cancel out and I get x times log 2 
minus x times log 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. Now I can factor out x, so I get x times log 2 minus log 5 is equal to 7 times log 5. And divide log 2 minus log 5 on both sides. So these two cancel out and I get x is equal to 7 times log 5 over log 2 minus log 5, <coughs> which again simplifies to this. So x equals 7 times log base 2 of 5 minus 7 is my answer.